right now, beginning today, some COVID restrictions in Hawaii will be dropped as the state saw its lowest number of new COVID cases in months. Just 49 new infections yesterday with no new deaths. There are currently 2,834 active COVID cases with 147 people hospitalized. The state is still 69.6% fully vaccinated. And the restrictions being lifted today have to do with capacity at outdoor venues and the number of people allowed at road races. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Waikiki Shell with more on what you need to know. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine. Yeah, we're talking about the outdoor seated entertainment guideline. Just one of the few guidelines that we're going to be experiencing for the month of October here on Oahu. And what it, it exactly means is that different sporting arenas and concert venues like the Waikiki Shell, for example, has to operate at 50 percent capacity or under 1,000 people. It also means that all attendees must be vaccinated, masked when they enter the outdoor area, and also physically distancing from each other. There's no testing exemptions. It also includes that no food or beverages are sold at any of the outdoor events, which goes into effect today. Only water is allowed. Now, we've been hearing from Rick Bartolini from Rick Bartolini Presents, and he shares a little bit of his view when it comes to these big events that we were once used to and the challenges that come even with this new guideline in place. Take a listen. Well, I think it's a great step. I support uh, Mayor Blangiardi. Um, it's a step in the right direction. Unfortunately for large gatherings, <laughs> um, it, it, you know, it doesn't really help. It doesn't really help um, put on shows at the Waikiki Shell. It's just, how do you put on a show for a thousand people and pay the artist to pay the expenses? Um, and obviously having 500 people indoors at say the Blaisdale, that's an impossible situation as well. So shows like Joe Coy, shows like Hall & Oates, uh, shows that I had planned that I hadn't announced are, are all gonna go away. So again, that was Rick Bartolini with Rick Bartolini Presents, really just sharing his view with this new guideline in place. So coming up in the next half hour, we're going to hear about the challenges coming after this new guideline in place, along with the other ones for the month of October. Another situation that we've been following related to this are the sporting events, a big one being UH football with their game happening next week against New Mexico State University at uh, Chink Stadium. No food or beverages are allowed at sporting events, which definitely changes the experience itself. Very inconsistent as far as a lot of different events going on in place. But if there is any new developments or changes that does come to us about what we're experiencing in the future, we'll keep you posted first, whether it's online at KHON2.com and also in our future newscasts. Reporting out here in Waikiki, Dallas Navarro's KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Thanks for the live update, Dallas.